there was a, a table and it, it almost broke me. There were thousands of cuts and joints that had to be filled like a mosaic. When it was finished, I couldn't let it go. I had it in here and I just look at it like, wow, I did that, you know? Thinking about how I started off and how far I've come, it was an incredible amount of work. I didn't want to turn back. I want to feel like I've put myself into it. I discovered the power in making something. And it challenges me every time. There's a stream of raw materials coming in here all the time. If there were wood just on all the walls and not one piece of furniture, I feel like this was an amazing place. I have some boards in here that I probably will never use because I just love how it looks. They're like little trees in here. And each piece of wood has an amazing story. Certainly there are quiet moments when there are no machines on um, and it's just me in here and I can hear the sandpaper just go you know just that sound magnified in this incredible space and sometimes I'm, I'm doing that for an hour. When I'm in a space and all I'm thinking about is woodworking and how great it is to be in here, then the sky's the limit. I feel like I can do anything in here. But there are times that, you know, I think about home, you know? This is, I need to do well. I'm a real person. I have real things. I can't fail, you know? Um, and I'll be in here and uh, I'll think about that. Um, but, uh, um, and that's, that's, that's real. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Um, there are moments in here that, um, you know, I'm just static and happy, you know, and filled with pride because I'm able to do what I love every day. And I'll walk around and I'll be like, yes, you know, nailed it, you know. You know, they're gonna love this, you know, and um, that makes me feel good and uh, makes me feel really good. This is what I wanna do with my life. I want to use my hands to make beautiful things.